Yo, what is going on guys? Jake from the NRUK Racing League here and welcome back then to round number four of the NRUK Cup Series season number three here at the Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the Mr. Kipling 500. 34 laps, 42 drivers and one winner in today's race, the fourth one of the season. Without further ado, we get straight into your starting lineup here. Uh, starting with the front row, and Sebastian Kukulon has won the pole. For the 13 team, and to his outside, the 14 are of Arena McShane. Behind them, it's William Bulin and Eli Bright start. And then on the third row, Tim Gary alongside Brett Sira. On the next row, Samit Ozkan starts alongside last race winner Adam McDowell. Then we have Mohammed Zayn Abdullah and Nathan Stapleton. Behind them, Tyler Bradley starts alongside Jeff Bright. And then we have Travis Chambers and Mason Haywood. On the next row, Jake Richardson starts alongside Riley Snare and Zachary Delello is next to Trey Wright. Behind them, Code Red starts alongside Nonagan Scott. Then we have William Seaman and Greg Torres. Jose Mills and Andrew Bean fill out the next row. And then Dylan Ebrahimium and Priya McShane. Behind them, Nathan Orman starts alongside Patrick Smith. And then Grace Takioma and Kyle Hunter fill out the next row. Both of them teammates, of course. Cynthia Bright is next to Keith Stevens. Behind them, Max Bushway starts alongside Max Anderson. Then we have Derek Hamill and Alexander Rowe. Evan Hunter alongside Dan Bandon, then Dupain and Friesen. And on the final row, DJ Reed starts alongside Kevin Bandon. I'm going to get the engines fired then. Here, and the 42 cars are going to roll for grid. Texas Motor Speedway. It's a wacky track for sure. It produces some big rash crashes, some big strategy calls, and some even better racing. Hopefully, we'll see more of the same today. As Sebastian Kukulon leads the drivers round turn number three. And we're going to get going here on this overcast day in Texas. Which driver is going to claim either their first or second win of the season in only round number four. Kukulon and McShane then start on row number one. And if we come off turn number four, they're going to head to the start finish line. Green flag in the air. We're racing at Texas. And down into turn three for the first time. Sebastian Kuklon with the perfect start he leads. Here comes Tim Gary with a huge run into second place. Off of turn number four for the first time then. Can they make it through? Clean, they can't. Car up into the wall, code red, sliding across the track. And we have a caution. Kyle Hunter involved, Dylan Ebrahimium, Jose Mills and others. Derek Hamill is there involved. And we have ourselves a huge wreck here. Greg Torres with big damage. And the big one at Texas. On lap number one, Max Anderson is slowing down the back stretch with issues. He's the joint points leader, of course. That will not help his cause. They make it through clean a second time. On the first lap, they wreck already. And Sebastian Kuklon led them back to the caution with Tim Gary in second. But look at all these torn up race cars here. Oh, Trey Wright came in there with a steaming head and hits the 42 of DJ Reed. So the 42 team not going to be happy about that. And they are all down pit lane, all the damaged cars. Are these guys can come down pit lane. Remember, strategy is an option here at Texas, and they will. So Kukulon leads the field down pit lane for the first time today here on lap number four. So an early pit stop, maybe short pitting here, some of these guys are. And uh, Kukulon's going to go down pit lane. We're going to switch to the pit lane camera. See, he wins the race off pit road. I think everyone is coming down. No one opts in to stay out on this first time. But a huge wreck. An eight or nine car wreck brings up a caution here at Texas. We're only on lap number one. They didn't make it clean through. We'll see how that wreck happens in a second. Once we watch the race off pit road. Remember, Kukulon was the first in. He does take tyres. But which of the cars is going to be the first out of pit lane? And coming off pit lane, Kukulon wins the race off pit road. Tim Gary in second, and the order seems pretty unchanged for now. It was Kukulon, Gary, Ozkan, Abdullah, and Richardson who won the race off pit road that time. That's your top five as we come to the restart. Kukulon is the leader. 
He was the first race of pit road, but a wreck on lap number one. Let's see how it happened. Well, a whole host of incidents happen here. See that in the middle of your screen, the 47 of Abraham and the 18 of Mills and the 34 of Trey Wright are entering turn, f oh, exiting off turn four for the first time. And they get it all wrong. They pinch together. The 47 sends the 18 up into the wall and they are wrecking behind them. But of course, that wasn't the main cause of the wreck. It was, in fact, that um, the 95 of Code Red, who you see had contact with William Seaman in front of them. Uh, if you watch here from his angle, here they come racing off the turn. And uh, three wild with Raleigh Snell on the outside. They pinch together, and Seaman sends the 95 down the inside across the track into the 47. And that's just going to cause a huge blockage on the track. And there's Torres running into things. Max Anderson, that's where he gets... Um, damage from see how Kyle Hunter and uh, Derek Hamill got involved in this wreck because they also have damage the 4 and the 51 I imagine it's something similar to the rest of these guys and as you can see here off the turn I guess maybe just correcting or trying to react to the uh, m mistake or the wreck that was happening in front of them and as they were trying to do that Evan Hunter goes flying towards the grass back up the track into the 51 on the 4 and I guess they were trying to avoid that wreck and Overcorrected, maybe. Maybe the spot was not communicating as well as they could, and that's what caused the 4 and the 51 to go around. 38 and Max Anderson, who came into this race as the points leader, probably won't exit. He is going to be out of this race now with damage from that wreck. Let's go see how it happened and go on board with the 38 of Front Row Motorsports. As you see there, he actually had multiple hits there for the 38 that finished him off. And uh, nothing he could do there to avoid that wreck. Let's go on board with the 27 of Kevin Bannon who makes it through clean. But he saw it all unfold in front of him. Uh, on board with the 27 of Richard Childers Racing. Let's see how this wreck happened and unfolded in front of the field. As you can see, it all happened in front of Kevin Bandit, but he did a fantastic job of negotiating that wreck and avoids getting any sort of damage. The final one board we're going to do before we get back to the restart is the 95 of Code Red, who came flying across the racetrack to bring it out this caution. And lap number one, they raced hard early. It didn't pay off, and a lot of guys are going to be out as a cause of this wreck. Let's go on board with the 95 of Code Red to see what happened. And unfortunately, it looks like the night five of Code Red's day is done early. But Sebastian Kukulon has led all the way so far. He won the race off pit road. He'll be your leader when we come back to the restart. We will come back to restart then here on lap number seven and out from this race. So a long casualty list for sure. The 38 of uh, Max Anderson is out of this race. Derek Hamill is done for the day. Jose Mills will be uh, finished off. Torres and Ebrahimian, they're also out of this one. And uh, Trey Wright, I believe, also has not made it uh, back to this restart here. Surprisingly, the 95 of Code Red decides to battle out on track. And same with Kyle Hunter. They have big damage. They're going to be slow and off the pace. I mean, our bad lap cars can be if we go on a sustained run of green flag action here. But come back to restart lap number seven. The top five. Kukulon, Gary, Ozcan, Abdullah and Richardson. And for the second time to, and. We're going to restart for the first time today. Green flag back out in the air. What can the 32 of Tim Gary do? Can he find maybe a pass on the inside? Sam Ozcan though working to the back bumper of the 32. And now he shoots inside. Ozcan looking for second position as they all race down the back stretch again. Ozcan on the inside followed by Mohamed Zayn Abdullah. Look at Eli Bright who's worked himself up into the top five here. And here comes Samet Ozcan for the lead. The 37 car up the track. 
And through the trival, he leads the lap on the restart. They all make it through cleanly this time. And Ozcan, who's pushed by Zayn Abdullah to the front. Eli Bright now up into third. Tim Gary moves to the inside of Sebastian Kukulon. Down the back stretch they go. Zachary Lello's worked himself into a handy position. The points leader, or one of the points leaders, coming into today's race. But now Eli Bright is starting to work his way up towards the front. And the 88 for Hendrick Motorsports. You see a huge gap between Arena McShane and Jeff Bright there in the field. So the top uh, eight have really broken away from the rest of the, of the pack here. See is that we see that camera angle. Top eight here, Lee have an advantage here early on, but a caution course could bunch them up once again. But Ozcan leads. Bright now in second, trying to catch up to him. How about a three wide battle for third? Abdullah Gary, and how about Zachary Delello moving through in the 43? What a start to the season this team has had. They have been fantastic um, early on and early doors. Trying to get as many points on the board as possible to start the season. And uh, down the back stretch they go. The five maybe is catching back up to the back of this pack again. It's just taking them a few laps then to regroup together. The 22 of Jake Richardson here is off the pace. And down pit lane. So... Richardson either must have had an issue or came in for a pit stop here. He was in the top five, remember, when we came to the restart. So an issue on the 22 and the leaders are going to catch him here. Is he going to cause some sort of problem? Samit Ozcan, though, is now getting worked over for lead. And here comes Eli Bright to the inside lane in the 88. Can't find the overtake this time, but Richardson clearly off the pace and clearly had to come down for a pit stop that wasn't necessary there. And this could rule him out of the contention for the race. I could say Code Red hold 12 seconds off the pace. And in fact, Hina is now a lap down as well. And Richardson, in fact, has gone a lap down. So, Jake Richardson's unfortunate mishap is again going to put him a lap down. And will probably not contend him for the win here unless he can get past the 95 of Code Red. But how about these two? Who are going really going at it for the lead. Eli Bright is all over the back of the 37. Surely it's a matter of time for the 88 passes the leader not this time by Arena McShane has worked herself back in to third position and the rest of the group now has re-bunched together maybe this turn it's going to be Eli's lucky lucky one but Ozcan is too good in that kind of middle groove the 37 seems good there and a caution flies again I'd say probably the Keith Stevens and Patrick Smith by the looks of it May have brought out the second caution of the day. And it's a huge break for, I mean, not a break even for Jake Richardson. Because Code Red will get back on the lead lap here. And Summit Ozcan leads them back to the stripe. He will be the leader then. As a second caution comes out on lap number 14. And uh, are they going to come down pit lane again for the second time today? We'll find out shortly. Is Ozcan going to send them to pit lane? Looks like he is. And here we go then for another round of pit stops. Ozcan leads them down. Does anyone choose to stay out this time? Potentially Jake Richardson. We'll maybe see if that's strategy or not. And someone actually does stay out. I believe that's the 31 of Tyler Bradley. It is. So Tyler Bradley here stays out this time by. And he'll be the leader when they come back to restart. We'll have a look how that second caution that they came out. First watch the race off pit road. Kuklons was the best off last time, however, he has lost some positions. And in fact, Richardson does stay out this time, and so does Code Red. So they may be looking for the wave around here to get back on the lead lap. So sensible from those guys. And off of pit lane, who is it going to be? Samatozkan leads them off. How about Zachary Delello gaining spots into the second position? Bright is in third, Gary fourth, and Abdullah is in the fifth position coming off of pit lane. Ozkan will be your leader when we come back to restart. Second caution of the day is out. Let's go see how this one has happened. And it was in fact these two who brought out the caution here on lap number 12. Four wide. And I don't know what these guys are thinking going forward here. See Nolligan Scott and Mason Hayward on the inside. And Smith and Stevens were caught up high. As you can see here, there was just no room to go for the 15 and the 2. They squeeze up together and around they will go on the front stretch. The 20 and the 6 go through the grass. <laughs> but the 15 and 2 spin out and go around here. Uh, some heavy right side damage to the two car. So, a small two car incident here. Uh, 
So bring out the second caution of the day. Let's uh, go back to this view to see how this happened. See, they're pinched together, and around they go, and they will scrape across the front line, uh, the start-finish line, even there. So, not what they want to see in the Season 1 champion. Keith Stevens has not had the start to the season he has wanted. Uh, let's go on board with the two here. He's got to somehow find the momentum and form if he's looking to crown himself a two-time champ. As you can see then, a heavy impact for the 15 and the 2. Uh, they'll have damage. They probably rules that. That probably rules them out of uh, win this race. But Sam Oskan led them off of pit lane. When he actually started very soon, come join us then. We are now over halfway through this race and event. And Oskan and Kukulon are the ones who led so far. Um, the 2 and the 15 are fine out of that, they will be off the pace, but uh, they're not retired from this event just yet. So, the top 10 are as followed. Oscan leads, Zachary Dello is up to 2nd, 3rd is Eli Bright, 4th for Tim Gary, 5th is Mohamed Zain Abdullah, 6th for Rina McShane, 7th is William Budin, 8th is Jeff Bright, 9th for Sebastian Kukulon, and rounding out the top 10 is Grace Takiova. But Sam Oscan then, is leading out front for JTT Doggerty Racing. Can he follow in his footsteps, Dylan, the footsteps of his teammate Dylan Ebrahimian into victory lane this season? And will Dolello or Bright have something to say about that? Just coming over and tipping over the halfway point of this race for the second time today, we are restarting and the green flag flies. Eli Bright looks to the high side. That's probably not the place he wants to go. And now Tim Gary will pick up a position and move into third. How about this 32 car? He's had a superb start to the season and his late race charges have been fantastic. He's always been up and around in and amongst it here, Tim Gary, and he's now going to go through into second position. Here comes the 32. What a charge he has found on this restart. Through the start finish line. Can he make a move on Samit Oskan for the lead? Tim Gary towards the inside lane. Zachary Lalo looking to follow the 32 through and potentially clinch second position. Abdullah just waiting in fourth. The Brights battling it out for fifth. Gary leads for now, but can Zachary Delo find anything else? Here comes the 43, your points leader, trying to capitalise on another great points day to extend his advantage at the top. Delo to the inside. Abdullah and Jeff Bright now find themselves down there. And now Tim Gary's lead lasted for a very short period of time. Going to be a lot of drivers who can still win this. Anyone within this kind of top... 20 or so you can definitely see them potentially winning this one and uh, Gary and Delello are having a fantastic battle in front for the lead here not one driver is giving up here for the victory will Delello finally prevail this time by how about Mohamed Zayn Abdullah he wants to get involved in the action he wants to grab a win in the NRU UK Cup Series but Delello now clears and Delello to the lead but Tim Gary going to try and cross him over what a move from the 32 it's fantastic battling at the front and now Tim Gary will regain his lead. Three, four wide behind him for fourth. And it's all kicking off here at Texas. Zayn Abdullah now into second place. He will be the one who's hunting down Tim Gary in the lead here. Off of the turn this time. Gary now has a good advantage out in front. Can he extend that advantage and make this lead comfortable? Delano and Abdullah fight for second. Kukulon in fourth. Riley Snare. Where's the 19 come from up into fifth? Oh, they're through the field. Takiyoma and someone else. Oh, it was Oskan. Summit Oskan through the field. And the guy who had so many laps at the beginning of today's race goes sliding through the field. And now will be at probably and possibly out of contention for this race. They still continue to remain competitive at the front. Now Tim Gary has a solid advantage over second place. Mohamed Zain Abdullah, Kukulon into third. Here comes Riley Snare, Eli Bright trying to get back up to the front. How about Hendrick Motorsports having probably their best day of the season so far? Eli Bright and Jeff Bright up here. How about Nathan Orman, who's also flirted his way inside to the top 10? Remember, this battle here between Orman and Delello could be key because Max Anderson's not a factor anymore. These two, the 24 and the 43, are going to be battling for the points lead coming out of this race potentially. But Tim Gary. Has opened up a 
0.3 second advantage. And with the battling that's happening behind him, that's only encouraging for Tim Gary. Sebastian Kuklon is going to come back in a second. But as these guys remain side by side, the 32 can just extend his gap out, in the, out at the front by an even greater margin. 13 and 7 remain side by side. Snare looking at, up high. That doesn't work. Now it comes Zachary Delello back for a free wide move to the inside. Eli Bright in the middle. Snare up high. Delello down low. Jeff Wright also wanting to get involved in the party here. It is superb racing. That was all just for fourth position. Can Delello clear now? Many a driver still in with a shot and a chance of this race victory. But they've somehow got to catch Tim Gary, who's extending the advantage second by second. And now Kukulon's coming out for pit looks for, to the pits. So we're going to have some pit stops here. All the 14 through the grass. It's mayhem now. I mean, the, both furniture row racing teammates always collided. The 78 scraped the wall and the 77 scraped the wall as well. The 14 was through the infield. And pit stops are coming late here. So some late race strategy to finish this race. When does your leader, Tim Gary, come down to pit? This time, Abdullah follows. Both the bright snare. The 75. Oh, snare turned around in front of pit lane by the 75. And the caution flies. The caution flies. It's incredible here. Did anyone stay out? Evan Hunter's around. Travis Chambers was the one who stayed out. And he'll be in the lead. Coming to this caution flag. Of course, it all depends on the strategy, but probably not a good break for the 48 and the 31 as we will get restarted before this time period. But what a break for the likes of Delello, Kukulon and Bandon. Heartbreak for the rest who pitted on that first time round. They have not got the luck, including, I believe, the 32 of Tim Gary may have just run out of luck here. Not Tim Gary, even. Tyler Bradley is now down pit lane this time, and so is... Travis Chambers, though, is the one who stays out. 78 with some extensive repairs. There's Mason Hayward coming through to take the free pass. And now this creates a whole load of confusion. We don't know why the caution was brought out. We believe for the spin on the 19 or Riley Snare. And uh, Travis Chambers here is your leader, I believe. And this is incredible scenes at Texas. We're going to see how this caution was brought out. And we're going to have a late race restart to decide the winner. Well, that became very dramatic very late on indeed. They're coming round for pit stops here late in the race. And it's the 19 and the 75 who have tried to enter Snare, who is on the high side. They both don't get it right. And there goes the 19 spinning to the inside, into the inside tyre barrier. There's Adam McDowell spinning around. So multiple guys going around. Evan Hunter there. So... Few Joe Gibbs teammates there. Not having the luck they wanted. Don't know who really didn't benefit from that. Kukulon probably maybe has. We're not sure. Of course, this throws a huge spanner in the works in terms of the pit strategy. Friesen and Snare still wrecking down pit lane. DJ Reed's missed his pit stall, I believe. So, uh... So much happening here late on. The 14 Arena McShane went flying through the grass. The 77 and the 78 teammates collided. The 78 going into the wall and getting damage. But this is fantastic stuff here from Texas. We're going to get restarted. Remember, these two stayed out and were the leaders. But the 31 of Tyler Bradley came down pit lane this time by. Will Chambers come down pit lane before the restart? We'll find out shortly. And boy, this is going to be a hell of a finish from Texas. And this late race caution has jumbled up the order big time. A huge shuffle in the race. This race looks now. Look, all these guys are lapped down because of that pit, because of that caution. Including a lot of these guys are even starting near the front. So, all these people you see behind Travis Chambers are lapped down. So, he's got a huge buffer to second place, which is Tim Gary. So, Travis Chambers here might see his strategy pay off. And he might potentially go to victory lane here. It's quite simply stunning. Chambers leads. Look at the gap he has back to second place, Tim Gary. These cars separate the 48 and the 32. And if the 48 can hold on, it's an incredible call. Abdullah in third. Tyler Bradley is now in fourth. And Cynthia Bright is in fifth. It's a huge shake-up. Remember, everyone 
back up to Tim Gary is a lap down behind Travis Chambers. It's going to be three lap shootout at Texas. Does the 48 hold on for Hendrick Motorsports or does this race change massively? Travis Chambers, can he hold on? The pack chase behind him as the green flag flies. A fantastic restart from the 48. Can he now hold on from the rest of the field? It's all about whether his tyres last. Does he have enough fuel in the car? Off of the turn, he races this time. Tim Gary trying to find some way past all this lap down traffic. But it's just not happening for the 32. And oh, Chambers is going to have to pit. Heartbreak for the 48 team. He took the risk with a the strategy. They now hands the lead to Tim Gary. Caution is out behind them. This will be for the race. Or did Tim Gary make it back before the caution flag came out? Tim Gary is clear of Zain Abdullah in second. And with a caution coming out here, Gary has to negotiate a few more turns. They rack again. But for the second time in four races, Tim Gary is going to go to victory lane in the NIUK Cup Series. Incredible. Tim Gary, for the second time this season, has gone to victory lane. Heartbreak for the 48 of Travis Chambers, who went for that incredibly bold strategy, but it did not pay off. Gary wins this one. Another caution comes out late on. I believe Jeff Bright is maybe involved and a few others. Heartbreak for this man, though, who came in with the most boldest of strategies, but for the 48 team... It did not pay off. It's so unlucky. However, this man is going to victory lane again. Tim Gary is having a wonderful start to the year. We'll see how this final caution came out. But across the finish line, Tim Gary is the winner once again. He wins at Texas. We we'll see the rest of the field crawl behind him. We'll go check out how the caution happened first. And then we'll come back for the finishing results and the point standings. And the whole reason this one came out is because of this lap car. Well, this lap car, but this pit strategy discussion. Tyler Bradley, who also stayed out, didn't have enough, obviously, for the 31. And as he tries and gets to pit lane, Jeff Bright and the rest of them are trying to negotiate around them. And uh, Bright can make a stick there. Of course, they all slow up. They're all going at different speeds. Here comes Carter Freeze and the Stapleton. And around they go and around they wreck in front of the field. That causes a huge stack up and chain. Here comes Bulin into it. DJ Reed, Adam McDowell, Dupain. And they all wreck here. See, freeze and slide for a glass. DJ Reed then gets clobbered by the 95 head on. That's a horrible impact. Max Bushway is also spinning. Priya McShane with big damage. That's a horrible impact for the 42 of DJ Reed. Let's go on board his view and see what happened here. As a. Uh, this final caution resulted in the end of the race. On board with DJ Reed. And that is just a simply quite incredible impact from the 42. Now on board the 5 of Jeff Bright. He also involved in this wreck, and he was looking for a top five and a good results finish today. However, that will obviously not happen for the driver of the five. Now, and such disappointment for the five for this team. Let's see how they got caught up in this one. And there you have it, the five. Unfortunately, is not going to get that top five that he was all so hoping for. One final view of this wreck from the spectator cam. And uh, then we'll go check out the finishing results for you guys. It's just it's just incredible to see what happened. And they have them wrecking in front of them. William Bulin just piles into this one. And in front of them, the 83 and the 42. That's just such a horrible impact. And that's the final caution of today's race a lot of them happened but this man is the happy one tim gary goes to victory lane today let's go check out the results and the point standings 
Here are the points. Here are the finishing results. Even from today's race, Tim Gary grabs the win. A second from Hamid Zayn Abdullah, a good day for him in the seven. Nathan Norman comes home in third. That should probably or may might do. Maybe given the points lead, we'll find out soon. Right, Syria in fourth. Uh, finally, a good day for the 77 team. And Raleigh Snare, despite the spin on pit lane, finishes fifth. The Brights, Cynthia and Eli finish sixth and seventh with Roe, Kukla and Delello rounding out your top ten. See, there are only 15 cars end up finishing on the lead lap in the end. It was a bit of a wreck fest. But Tim Gary is the happy one for sure. And uh, here we see the rest of the field. Let's go down the field. And these guys managed to finish. And uh, some of these guys didn't. You see the retired ones from that first wreck. And uh, it's incredible to see what happened. Let's go check out the point standings then after round number four. Again, here's the point standings. And I apologise for all you that are blinded with this. But we're going to continue with the way it is. And now we have a tie again at the top of the point standings. Tim Gary with that second win has shot to the back, back up to the top of the points. Nathan Norman is tied with him, though, in second place. Zachary Delello holds third position. Cynthia Bright up to fourth. A good day for the free team. William Seaman once again rebounds into fifth. Eli Bright is sixth. Riley Slair seventh. And Alexander Rowe is in eighth. Jeff Bright manages ninth and then tenth for Mohamed Zayn Abdullah. Currently in the wildcard spot, Dylan Ebrahimian and Adam McDowell have both of those wins. Uh, we go for the rest of the field. We see here... Good day for Brett Sira. 15 positions gained. Code Red, however, lost uh, 10. Derek Hamill losing 12. So, again, a lot of people lost positions after this race. And uh, that's the way it looks then after round number four. Bushway and Trey Wright continue to struggle. Thank you all so much for watching round number four of the season. Congrats to Tim Gary on getting the points lead and the win today. And until next time, we'll be round number five, I believe. So, uh, until next time, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.